it going? It's Sam Frost here, back with some more digital marketing advice. In today's video, I want to talk about how much of a failure this YouTube channel has been. I've been running this channel now uh, seriously for about five years. Best part of 300 or something videos uploaded in that time. Tons and tons of work's gone into it. And YouTube the other day when I logged in to upload a new video, it, it sent me this sort of congratulatory message saying, hey, you've reached 5,000 hours of viewing time over the lifetime of your channel. And 5,000 hours of lifetime viewing from video viewers over five years with however many videos I've uploaded is pretty disastrous really. So from the perspective of trying to make it big on YouTube to grow a big subscriber base, I think I've got about 1100 subscribers at the time of recording this video, trying to get lots of people seeing the videos, any of that sort of thing, it's been a failure. You know, I've got over a thousand subscribers but I can't qualify for the YouTube partner program and shove a whole lot of ads in front of you and make money off that because hey I don't have enough views. So if you were to look at my YouTube channel from that kind of high level perspective of views and subscribers and engagement, it has been an unmitigated failure but there's another way to look at it what I do with these videos is I find questions that people are asking about digital marketing and I answer those questions and hopefully solve problems for you and what happens is people come and they watch a video they google or jump on YouTube and look for a answer to a question and they watch my video and then sometimes people do this weird thing where they send me an email or they leave a comment and they say hey that was interesting but I've still got this problem can you solve it for me and then I can send them a proposal and that proposal can sometimes turn into me doing a job for them and they pay me money. And when it's looked at from that perspective, I can point to a number of clients I've picked up, ones who are in the past and still present clients at the moment and some potential upcoming work as well now that we're into the new year that has come through this YouTube channel where somebody has either sent me a message and said something along the lines of, hey, I've been watching your YouTube videos, I think you know what you're talking about, can we work together? Or, hey, I've got a very specific problem that I saw one of your videos that, you know, sort of shows me how to solve it, but I need more help. Can you solve this problem for me? And it's a not very scientific form of measurement, but I've run out of enough uh, fingers and toes to count how many leads uh, that have turned into projects I've had through this channel so far. And so the moral of the story here is don't just get caught up in these kind of vanity metrics. Now, obviously, if my objective was to create a YouTube channel that has, you know, thousands and thousands, millions of subscribers, and I make tons of money off YouTube ads, and I can, you know, get uh, businesses who want to have promotions done in the middle of videos, like you get those Surfshark or NordVPN or those kind of things appearing in videos, probably from content creators that you watch. It's been a total failure, as I said, complete unmitigated disaster, complete failure. But from a different perspective, attracting leads to my business, where I don't need a huge amount of leads or a huge amount of projects to basically be profitable in what I'm doing because of the way I run the business, it's actually been a success. And that's what really counts. So when it comes to your own digital marketing, Maybe it's you do LinkedIn, for example, you create posts on LinkedIn to promote your business and you don't get a huge amount of engagement or reach. And you think, man, I'm not doing very well here, I'm failing. But if those posts are getting in front of your target customers and then somebody looks at that and says, hey, this company knows what it's talking about. I've got the same challenge. I'm gonna go and talk to your business and it turns into a good sale or a good lead or a good opportunity, a big project. Doesn't matter what the vanity metrics say, that's been a success for you. And so look at what success actually needs to be for your business. Now, obviously, it's nice to have the big view count and the big engagement count or tons of subscribers and all those kind of things. But when I take a different look at my YouTube channel from a slightly different perspective of what I'm trying to achieve, it goes from being a failure to actually quite a success. And I think the same can apply for you depending on what you're doing. If you've got any questions, please do let me know. Yeah, maybe do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, but hopefully you found this interesting.